and welcome to another video on the Legos R Us channel. Today is the first episode of the Max Point Mission um, series, and I have some really cool things to show you. So first of all, got my first look of the mat, came a few days ago, and I am really impressed. From the pictures I saw online, I wasn't too impressed, but now that I have it and get to play around with some of the mechanisms, I think it's really cool. Um, so without further ado, let's get on to the cool part of this video, which is a time lapse I made of me building the robot I'm going to use for this season. So there you have it. This is the robot that I will be using this season. I really liked how it turned out and in all it took about two hours to build and I think it's going to be really good for the season and the table this year. So without further ado, let's get into the functions of the robot. Possibly the most important part of the robot are the six dog gears positioned around the robot. Two on the top and four on the bottom. They can transmit drive by simply placing on an adjacent gear. They can be useful because they allow for cages to slip over the robot without having hard attachment. The dock gears work just like this. You place this gear on top of them and then when the motor turns, it transmits the drive from the motor to the attachment on top. This can be really easy to switch out attachments because you can either set the robot on top of some sort of contraption or put a contraption on top with the drive being transmitted to any functions you want to add on to the robot. Another neat function of the robot is that I designed in a panel that can be easily removed for charging. Normally you wouldn't be able to access the battery of the robot, but with this panel you can easily plug the cord into the rechargeable battery and charge up the robot. So that's all I have for this video. Next video I'll try to get out as soon as possible. I'll be tackling the first robot run on the table. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.